You're listening to a special Halloween edition of the Risk Tasters video podcast. I'm Kira Dempsey, and on today's episode, three foodie jack-o'-lantern ideas that don't involve pumpkins. With Halloween quickly approaching tomorrow, as commuters, we're bound to have seen a lot of Halloween decorations on our drive or ride in. Of course, you've got your skeletons, spiders, and of course, the classic, yet awfully boring jack-o'-lantern. We as risk tasters always strive to bring you something new and exciting, so we bring you our top three foodie jack-o'-lantern ideas that don't involve pumpkins. To begin, we'll start with something that almost everybody has lying around somewhere. Apples. You'll need an apple, a carving knife, and a flameless candle to illuminate your creation. Take your apple and slice the top of it off with a knife. Next, cut around the perimeter of the apple, not too close to the skin though. You should be left with a hollow apple. Now you can plan out your design and begin to carve. Your apple lantern is complete. Next, let's work on something a little more unusual, turnips. We bet you didn't know that turnips were the original jack-o'-lanterns. In the 19th century, people in Ireland used to carve them for All Saints Day, or what we now call Halloween. When the Irish emigrated to America, they brought their tradition along and found that pumpkins, which were native to America, made the perfect fruit for carving. You'll need the same supplies, a turnip, a knife, and a flameless candle. Begin by cutting the bottom of your turnip off. Next, you want to cut around the perimeter of your turnip and scoop out the turnip guts. As we did before, plan your design and carve away. The final product is already spooky enough, but as your turnip sits out, the moisture will be sucked out of it and it'll begin to get wrinkly and shrunken. Are you missing summer like we are? Why not carve a pineapple? You'll need a pineapple, a carving knife, and a flameless candle. To begin, chop the top and bottom off your pineapple. After, cut around the perimeter of your pineapple and pop it out of the center. You should be left with a hollow pineapple skin. Now's the perfect time to take a snack break, enjoy your summer retreat in the height of fall, and then come back to carving. Just carve your pineapple's design and you're all set. Finally, light up your creations and have a tasty Halloween. We'd love to see your recreations of these. If you try any of them, tweet us a picture at Risk Tasters on Twitter with the hashtag TasteTheRisk. We hope you have a safe and happy Halloween.